with that being said, though, I mean, writing, you know, physical writing and journalism is what has, you know, propelled your career so far. All the way up into executive suite, sir. Yeah. What was that like when you come in as a mail clerk and then you look up your damn executive in this thing, man? <laughs> nah, it, it, it's dope, man. It's, um, again, it just all comes from the love of mm -hmm. uh, uh, hip hop. Like, I got a dope team that I work with um, over at Genius that, you know, and, and I'm just like grooming and giving support to others to build up, whether it's, whether it's content, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 you know, shout out to my man, Andres, mm -hmm. who runs, you know, the content part of Genius, our mm -hmm. verified episodes and our open mic episodes. Like yeah. that dude is a beast. Shout out to my man, Kayvon, who, mm -hmm. who, you know, runs our distro. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, from the executive side, it's more so just like, I mean, that's the part where you get to empower other people. Mm -hmm. That's the part when, when it's like, you know, to me, a boss, I don't even like that term boss because yeah. it because it, it indicates something for me is leadership yeah and, and it's it's about like putting people in positions yeah. to 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 be great so we could be great together so but you know it's amazing to be able to to sit in these meetings it's amazing to be able to do things um you know we're doing um I work with World Star as well so mm. we have Genius Distro and World Star Distro and now like signing artists like a lot of people don't know um. World Star Distro was involved and, and we signed Ice Spice. Mm. So the first two single, or not her first two singles, but Munch, which was her first really big single, and Bikini Bottom were World Star <laughs> singles. So like putting that deal together, helping to work that mm. with our partners at Create Music Group. Um, you know, shout out to Jordan, shout out to Danny, shout out to Simone. But um, to be a part of that, like, mm -hmm. You know, like I, I, I think she about to get a Grammy nomination. Come on, you now. know, it's looking like this is one of the biggest records. Like I think this is the biggest new artist in hip hop when we talk about Ice Spice since, since right. Lil Nas X. Yeah, and before Lil Nas X, it was Cardi B. Like those only come around every couple of years. So to be involved Thanks. in that, um, and you know, it was an independent deal. She, you know, is um a distribution deal. So mm -hmm. she's independent. She's a home thing, and she's with 10K now. But it was dope to be a part of that. Exactly. You know what I'm when you think about just hip hop in general and then being on the distribution side of things, man, I mean, what were the things that you learned though? Cause we talking about journalism, but now you talking about music distribution, mm -hmm. sir. I mean, mm -hmm. when you got into the distributing part of everything, what were the new talents that you discovered about yourself and the new things that you had to pick up on the fly? Yeah, definitely gotta learn the business. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, the, the legal, Rely a lot on legal to, to realize the terminology, to realize how these DSPs work, yeah. um, to realize a, a, a good release schedule to position yourself for success and mm -hmm. and, and and good marketing for sure. But um, that part comes with it for me. But it, it all comes from the passion for the music. Mm -hmm. Like again, it got to start from a place of love. What are you in it for? I'm in it because I love this shit. Come I'm on. in it because I love it and. I want to add on to the guys that I grew up watching, the greatness that I seen them doing. I, I want to do greatness too. And then when my time is done, leave the game in a dope enough position for somebody else to pick up Better the baton and keep running. It. Exactly. Come on. So for me, that's been the easy part. Like the stuff that I've couldn't figure out, mm -hmm. I just follow my heart. Mm. I just follow my gut. I just let my passion lead. And it's like, all right, we'll figure out the nuts and bolts of this. But but we're moving in the right direction because you're moving with, with love and passion for the culture. At what time during your career did you have to lean on your passion the most just to make it through? Currently, during that transition that I was telling you about <laughs> when, when, when Genius was bought, um, there's been a couple of times in my career. There was times when I was at XXL that I wasn't very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I wasn't getting the money I was supposed to get, and, mm -hmm. and I wasn't getting the respect that I was supposed to get. And I'm talking Whoa. about, like, from the team internally um, over there at XXL. And, and you know, I, I there was it, it got dark. You know, yeah. it was around this time when they told me, yo, I shouldn't be rapping. I got to be doing this. I got to be doing that. And I'm over here leading with my heart, passion. I'm doing incredible work at XXL, and yeah. I didn't feel like it was being recognized. And... I questioned if the game was for me. I almost quit. Like I, like I was like, man, if this is it, man, I, I'd rather take three shifts at McDonald's than to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> I you, feel you, you, you see what I'm saying? And, and shout out to Daytuan Thomas, um, who has been a friend and a mentor for me. And, and, and he told me, he said, Nah, bro, you got it. Yeah. And it's dark now, but just hang in there. Like you just got to get over this rough, rough patch. Just, just keep moving with positivity. And you're going to get where you need to be. And he talked me out of it because I was ready to quit. And I was ready to do something else with my life. Oh, um, my God. And um, he talked me out of it. So, yeah, it's been a couple of times when it's like, man, you just got to stop and quiet all the noise and listen to your heart and keep going. In your career, though, Rob, at what point do you feel like you were able to make the most impact to the culture 
Uh, um, I think with with uh, that's a good question. Two things. Well, I think with Genius, mm-hmm. when we created when we were creating content at Genius, that verified series, the yellow background. Mm-hmm. People don't know. Well, I'm a co-creator on that. I'm a co-creator mm. on all the series, like, and not Come on now. not co-creator where you know sometimes you put your name on shit. Now nah, on the ground floor, like we coming up with these concepts, we building. Um, no, that's right. <laughs> that 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 was a lot of people's first interviews. A lot of artists' first interviews was that yellow background. Mm. What people don't know is probably the first hundred hundred fifty episodes. I did all those myself because we didn't have a big staff. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm doing these interviews off camera. You know, I had realized mm-hmm. then I don't need to be front and center. To me, it's all storytelling, whether I'm writing around, whether I'm Come doing on. an interview, where I'm writing an uh, article, it's all storytelling. And I'm like, there's some stories that need to be told, and, and I'm hoping to tell this story, but I don't need to be a part of the story. I don't need to be front and center. Mm-hmm. I could be behind the camera, and, and, and you won't know. So I did a lot of those interviews behind the camera, you know, and creating a place with my team and an outlet for, for people to come and get their first interview. Exactly. To get like to be able to to really explain, talk about their music like bar for bar. Um and not have to go to a lot of like, you know, it was a time when everybody was following the TMZ model of journalism. So it was all about gossip and headlines and beef and drama. Yeah. And creating a place where people could go and be like, yo, well, I'm just gonna talk about my music. Um I felt was huge and impactful. And change the game, and then now currently with this distro thing, I'm like, yo, I, I, you know, we could partner with artists. Even signing artists sounds weird because we're, we're signing artists, but it's real, really partnership. All of these artists that we signed to distro are independent artists. Yeah. They maintain their independence, um, and being able to help artists. Like, I, I just have an artist now, and look, I'm an artist too, right? That's I, right. I'll give you an example. I'm an artist too. There, there's a producer. I, I won't shout the artist out, um, but I'll, I'll tell the producer, Alchemist, mm-hmm. right? Um, Alchemist showed love to to an artist that I'm working with recently, mm-hmm. and um, I love. I'm a big Alchemist fan. Mm. I'm out here rapping. I never asked Alchemist for a beat. Mm. Like I, I just never. Yeah. I I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to ask when it's for me. Mm-hmm. I sure enough asked him for a beat for the artist that I'm working with. Hey man, <laughs> this artist would love to work. You see what I'm saying? So 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 it's that thing. I feel like I'm in a position. Even some of the things that's hard for me to do for myself. Yeah. Um, I could do it for others. Exactly. So, so when you say where I'm thinking I'm having the most impact, I think it was that verified. But I think I think this distro thing is going to be big. Also, you know, during our conversation, but I noticed that kind of is a reoccurring theme, and this thing is energy. And when I say energy, it takes a lot of energy to knock out those 150 initial interviews for Genius. It takes a lot of energy when they say, "Okay, we only want four articles," but guess what? I'm gonna give y'all eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, where does this energy come from, sir? Because that, I think, is the dif- uh, differentiator in the game. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Between good and great. It's passion. Again, I think you got to love it. You got to kind of be passionate about it. Um, it's, a, it's it, But it's also a time of me remembering when nobody wanted me to work on anything. You know what I'm saying? When I was working in the mailroom. When I, 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 I feel you. Okay. Like, we could go back to that. Like, I, I worked in the mailroom. It was for a clothing company, and they had a catalog. And I remember going to, to them trying to get a job to write. If you remember ordering clothing out of a catalog, <laughs> the, the words weren't – it wasn't rocket science. 100% cotton, <laughs> denim, five pockets, blue, black. I, I was like, yo, I want to write. Can I write what's in the catalog? Yeah. Again, this is – and they was like, nah, we don't – Nah, just stay. Nah, you good in the mailroom. Just stay yeah. in the mailroom. They didn't believe that I could write what was in the catalog. Like I could do. And now, so I, I remember that. Come on. And I could be back in the mailroom, or now I could be doing this. So it's like I'm not gonna stop. Um, one, cause I love it, and two, that I remember what it was like begging that somebody would give you a chance, hoping that somebody would just notice you. Come on. Um, and, and now now I got it. So you know I want to rock out with it. Um. You know, it does get detrimental at times. Like I said, my sister's here in the background, my family. My family definitely be like, yo, you work a lot. <laughs> like, you work too much. Like, yo, again? Like, yeah, but but, yeah. I, but I love it. So it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. It's the passion. It's the passion. 